Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again in the car. It's about eight o'clock on Saturday. So I literally just woke up, got dressed, and came straight to the gym, so completely empty stomach, which means of course being Saturday, we have our pre-workout Pop-Tarts of Peace. These are just strawberry frosted, so nothing exciting, but you can't really beat that original jam. Strawberry jam. That uh, kind of works, but anyways, speaking of just waking up, I had a dream last night that I was training at my old gym, which used to be Core Fitness, but is now Ocean State Health and Fitness, and that name might sound a little bit familiar because that's where everybody's favorite YouTuber, Nick Wright, trains. So he trains there. I dreamt I was there training with him, and you might be thinking to yourself, all right, that sounds pretty interesting. You know, what were they training? Were we training squats? No. Deadlift? No. Bench? Mm -mm. Arms? Well, Nick Wright, arms, yeah. No, I was training calves. Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's some foreshadowing or what, but I think the main takeaway is Nick Wright is the man of my dream, so holla at your boy, Nick. Uh, speaking of Nick, we should actually be seeing him soon in a couple of weeks. Even though he lives right up the road, he's always busy, as am I, but I think we're doing a get together with himself, Bob from Olympus Iron, Max Tuning, and Matty Fusaro, and we're all going to meet up here and train for one weekend in June, so it should be pretty fun especially because most of them are manlets, although I think Maddie's pretty tall. I think he's like six foot one or six foot, and Bob's close to that, and then Max, and then Nick's at the bottom of the, the pile, so to say. So that should be fun. But anyways, enough rambling on about a bunch of boys getting together and piling on. I'm gonna eat this pre-workout. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna hit a lot of bench. Today is my volume day for bench, but we get to do competition style, so it should be fun to do, considering we had all those mishaps last time we did bench on Tuesday with the wide grip and the racks getting in the way, so hopefully I can get that shit figured out. But we'll check you in the gym. All right, so you guys know the drill for bench day. Typically what we do on these Saturdays are competition style bench. So what you're seeing here are sets of five at 290 pounds. Now the way Dan always works his chest days, as you guys probably know again, he gives me a range of sets to aim for. So today called for between two to four sets of 290 for five reps each. And he really left it up to me to kind of go ahead and play with this, depending on how you feel. Now I actually felt pretty tight. And after this second set, which you see here, I definitely thought about kind of calling it quits that day to move on to the rest of the volume. Because again, this is a very voluminous, voluminous day. I think that's how you say it, voluminous. I digress a little bit. But regardless of that fact, I went on and I pushed through this and I ended up getting all four sets of five reps at 290, which is great for me. Now, some of these are a little bit of a struggle and some of the things that I was playing around with today is number one, my duck face, which I wasn't really say playing around with because I always make a duck face during these, but also slightly lifting my head off the bench as you can see here from this angle. And some federations allow this, some don't, but for some reason when I was doing this today, I felt like I get a lot better press off of my chest. Also from this angle, I actually look like I lift, which is surprising. Maybe I should film all my angles from this. And kind of foreshadowing here, this you really get to see the angle of the duck face as well as the head coming off the bench. And I probably should do myself a favor and check the rules for the federations that I compete in. Because as I said, some allow you to do this, some don't. I know the ones that I've been in have allowed you to do this. Although typically I press more with my head against the pad. And it makes more sense for me to do this because I think just having more contact points on the bench would probably be beneficial. But as I said, I felt really strong here. So from there, we moved on to five sets of five of 255, a lot of fives there, for speed work. So I'm just showing you the first actual set here. I also ditched the wrist wraps because I didn't feel like I need them. From there, we moved on to three sets of wide grip paused bench. So you can see how wide I go here. And of course, I went ahead and got rid of those racks because on Tuesday, as you saw, I was all over the place. But again, these felt really strong, but the weight's nothing really too heavy. On my heavy days on Tuesday, I worked up to like 280. So this is fairly simple and easy in my mind. However, that being said, this still feels really comfortable. I think after this session of BBSM is over, I might try to work more on bringing my grip in some, but we'll see. We then moved on to four sets of 12 reps for incline dumbbell bench press, bumped the weight up here from the previous week to 95 pounds. Got all four sets for 95 pounds for 12 reps each, so I was pretty happy with that considering we've already done a ton of bench volume up to this point. Probably will try to up it to 100 pounds next week. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get all four sets for 12 reps. These ones moved pretty fast and pretty well though. 
So that brings us to the coup de grace of the day, which is the incline chest supported dumbbell row. Four sets of 12 at 85 pounds. I went a little lighter today only because I just did those heavy deads the previous day. I wasn't sure if my pulling power was gonna be there. I also failed to get on camera the before and after where I just threw over the bench and gave it the stink eye and stared at it and basically told it, who's your daddy? All right, so we're home, we're back, and it's time for me to eat breakfast because as you guys saw, I haven't eaten yet besides those two Pop-Tarts. And it's a little bit past 10 now, so the workout from start to finish took about two hours, factoring in warming up, stretching, driving back and forth to the gym, which isn't necessarily too bad, but again, you gotta factor in the fact that we did 24 working sets, so that's a lot of volume compared to what I'm used to. So two hours is kind of on the longer side of this training program, and most days take about an hour and a half, and again, a lot of that is warming up, stretching, mobility work. But I wanna show you guys what I'm having, so we're here in my kitchen, and I'm just gonna kinda show you guys this really quick. So what we have right here, um, we're gonna be putting this all together, but a little bit different than normal. You know I make a lot of scrambles and stuff like that, so we have our large eggs, we have our baby organic spinach so i guess that means it's better we also have some sliced ham here and then we have of course some sriracha sauce so this is all we're going to make i'm just going to get a big pan and cook this all together but i'm not going to mix it up so we're going to separate it out again just a way to kind of mix it up from the same stuff over and over again we'll probably throw in some of that high protein bread actually that i have right here and i'm running kind of low so this is double protein you guys have seen this plenty of times in here, so maybe we'll have like two pieces of toast with just some of uh, the jam or jelly that I have. I'll see what I have around the house and we'll come back and see what it looks like. All right, so everything's all done as you can tell probably by the steam. It looks decent. Like I said, it's pretty much the same stuff I always use, just cooking in a different way, just to kind of mix things up. And while I'm eating that, I'm gonna sit here and watch some Tim Thibodeau try to explain, you might be able to see that, how he's not max tuning now. I've watched Tim for quite a while and I've never actually compared him to Max Tuning, but now that he's making this video trying to convince me that he's not, I'm always gonna go on his videos and just talk about Max Tuning. So, you're welcome Tim, and you're welcome Max. Then after I do this, I'll probably go outside, and answer some emails, uh, try to get some sun for my pay last, but probably won't show you that only because I don't wanna blind you, so we'll check in with you soon. Just got back from running some errands. I figured I'd go ahead and show you what I got. Nothing too exciting and nice little Saturday. So one of the things here that I got is a new chair only because you guys probably saw in that last video, my other one broke. That's the replacement one I've been using. And honestly, to sit there for more than 20 minutes at a time hurts my back quite a lot. That is a very uncomfortable chair. So I went ahead and picked this one up from BJ's. I also went and stopped and got a Subway sandwich in before their bread is made from shoe soles and all sorts of crap and they don't use real meat or whatever. But Obviously here to sit and answer emails, that's key. So chair pickup, but also because I recently picked up this the other day, Wolfenstein for PS4. Now I got this instead of Watch Dogs. A lot of people you know, said I should have got Watch Dogs and I really wanted to get Watch Dogs, but once I saw some of the gameplay leaks, it just wasn't something I was ready to play just yet. I just got done with Infamous Second Son the other day and I think it's kind of in the same vein in the fact that it's like an open sandbox type GTA game. Plus, I'm not really big into the stealthness of Watch Dogs. Um, so, I figured I'd go for the single player Wolfenstein. This doesn't have multiplayer, which a lot of people hate, but you guys should probably know by now, I'm not really that big into multiplayer. A lot of people ask if they can add me on PSN, and you can if you want. I'm fairly certain that my username on there is Campbell Diamond. So, just one word Campbell Diamond. Uh, but honestly, I don't play multiplayer, so you can add me. But if I don't respond to your game request to come and play something online. Don't be offended. I just honestly don't play with anybody. I just like to play with myself. All right, so there's the finished product. It is much more comfortable than the other chair. So it took me a little while, but that's all right. Now I'm going to play some PS4 probably. So for those of you that were wondering, I said I'd let you know. There you go. So my username is Campbell Diamond. Don't have a lot of trophies. I was a lot better at Xbox Live. Um, but I did complete Knack. So I can put that on my resume, but there you go. If you want to add me, go ahead. But again, if I don't play with you, don't take it personally. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.